Lord Ashcroft. He's the billionaire businessman who bankrolled the Tories, donating more than £8 million to keep the party afloat in the long years of opposition. But in government, David Cameron didn't give him the job he thought he'd been promised. Five years on, this is his response, a 600-page book spilling the beans. Lord Ashcroft denies he's settling scores. But in these extracts, there are allegations the Tory leader knew about the peer's controversial non-dom tax status earlier than his spokesman had claimed. There are allegations the young David Cameron smoked cannabis at Oxford University. And even that he took part in a bizarre initiation ceremony for a dining club involving a pig. We make no apology for this book being colourful and entertaining and also it is packed with serious revelations and serious observations about David Cameron, his premiership and his leadership style. Downing Street said they wouldn't dignify the claims with a comment. The Chancellor in China was no more forthcoming. Well, I haven't uh, seen um, that book. Opponents said Mr Cameron had to say whether he'd kept quiet about Lord Ashcroft's tax status. I think it's important that this allegation that he knew more about Lord Ashcroft's non-dom status than he had previously said he did, that that's not lost in the more lurid and humorous allegations that many people are talking about today. Privately, Mr Cameron's allies said they weren't sweating about Lord Ashcroft's allegations, which they dismissed as ridiculous. They might have been less relaxed if they'd come during the Tories' annual conference in a fortnight. I don't think they'll be particularly damaging. I think if, if this wasn't such a slow news day, um, we probably wouldn't be discussing them now. I think actually, if anything, it reflects quite well on the Prime Minister. After all, here was a non-dom billionaire who tried to buy his way into high political office. He was rebuffed by the Prime Minister. The Tories have long had an uneasy relationship with Lord Ashcroft. They liked his money, but not his tax status. At some point, the Prime Minister will have to answer questions about this and some of the more embarrassing allegations.